Hello and thanks for tuning in to this Marvell Follow the Wire video for our OEM customers and their partners. In our, one of our prior videos, we discussed the transition to NVMe over fabrics that is currently underway in the modern data center. In this video, I want to take a few minutes to provide a bit more detail on exactly how customers using SCSI-based fiber channel connectivity are going to make this transition to NVMe over fiber channel or FC NVMe. As mentioned in our NVMe over fabrics video, the NVMe protocol has been widely adopted to improve storage performance in the latest generation storage arrays from all the key storage vendors. This is because NVMe protocols designed specifically to work with NVMe storage devices and provides multi-queue capability which delivers more performance and efficiency that simply isn't available with the SCSI protocol. NVMe over fabric or FC NVMe describes an environment where NVMe commands are passed across fiber channel infrastructure. Now today most enterprise data center customers have some sort of fiber channel SAN which can pass SCSI commands to and from server and storage devices. The next generation fiber channel SAN will be passing NVMe commands across what is essentially the same fiber channel fabric. The only fabric requirement for FC NVMe is that the fiber channel fabric must be made up of enhanced 16 gig fiber channel or later generation components. And by components, I mean HBA switches and target array adapters. It is the in the enhanced 16 gigabit point in the fiber channel roadmap where support for NVMe came into being. Note that all current operating systems, including Linux, VMware and Windows Server include support for FC NVMe as well. Native NVMe storage arrays are also available now from all major storage array providers. Now the initial FC NVMe specification has been updated to what we call FC NVMe version 2 to add enhanced error correction recovery for higher performing systems. Note that all Marvell QLogic QLE 2690, 2700, and 2870 series HBAs support FC NVMe V2 today. So do, how does the SCSI-based fiber channel world of today stack up in terms of performance with the next generation FC NVMe? Here's data from our internal testing here at Marvell. In our test, latency is reduced by 43% when using FC NVMe. This is primarily because of the multi-queue capability and the streamlined command set that's, that are both optimized for memory-based storage devices. In the middle chart here, you can see that IOPS are increased by 82%, and on the right, you can see that bandwidth was increased by 83% when using FC NVMe for the same reasons. And did you know that fiber channel is used in AI applications? You see, AI needs massive amounts of data and a large portion of the data that users are gonna put through AI training and inferring solution sits on storage connected to those systems via fiber channel SANS today. Data presented by HPE at the SNEA Storage Developers Conference and in SNEA webinars in 2023 uh, showed some performance comparisons of the, the fiber channel SCSI or FCP protocol versus FC NVMe uh, when running uh, machine learning AI workloads. They ran training data sets of different sizes in both VM and container environments with both FCP and FC NVMe connected storage. You can see for data sets from 887 megabytes to 2.6 gigabytes, the time to process was reduced up to 33% with FC and VME on, and virtual machines and up to 35% when using FC and VME and containers. A side note that the HV data did show that running machine learning workloads using containers is more efficient and higher performant than running with VMs. Another big advantage to the fiber channel uh, when it comes to NVMe over fabric is the simplified integration 
of new NVMe technology with older SCSI-based technology. Typically, customers have an existing SCSI-based environment and legacy storage arrays already in production. And they won't simply want to add more storage and are thinking about adding new, fast, native NVMe storage arrays to that environment. The good news is that adding NVMe storage to an existing fiber channel SAN is relatively seamless. You see, Fiber Channel supports FC SCSI and FC NVMe on the same fabric running concurrently and with to the same ports. Customers can add new NVMe storage to their existing Fiber Channel SAN without having to make any hardware changes to the switches or the HBAs. And that is needed. All that is needed is to zone the new storage resources into the fabric. HBA firmware and drivers do need to support both FC NVMe and FC SCSI. The good news here is that QLogic HBAs utilize a unified driver. That's one driver that supports both FC SCSI and FC NVMe. This driver has been shipping for several years now and with support all the way back to VMware 6.0, for example. So, if your customer is standardized on QLogic Fiber Channel HBAs, they don't have to touch the servers either. Now, with competitor products, their initial offerings required separate drivers for FC NVMe, meaning that server administrators had to really go in and update drivers in every server connected to the SAN. Well, this has been probably rectified in later OSs like VMware 8, uh, with earlier versions, manual updates are required with uh, HPAs from the other guys. Just one more reason to use QLogic Fiber Channel HPAs. And that's not the only reason to use QLogic HPAs. In addition to the unified driver, QLogic HPAs are fully integrated with both Brocade and Cisco switches and directors. All the features and capabilities that the adapter has are supported in, typically in both fabrics. QLogic's port isolation architecture that we've talked about in previous uh, videos ensures predictable per port for performance, and that's simply something that the competitor offerings can't guarantee. Auto-negotiated virtual machine ID and virtual lane technology ensure QLogic HPAs are optimized for virtual server environments and for quality of service. QLogic HPAs are secure with hardware root of trust and the ability to support encrypted data in flight. QLogic SAN congestion management technology helps address slow drain issues in real time. And QLogic's QConverge console is available to integrate into VMware and Windows Server Administrator tools to simplify management. Also available in PowerShell kit and CLI formats. And here's the portfolio of fiber channel adapters from QLogic that support FC NVMe with unified drivers today. These are all supported in the Tier 1 OS environments and are compatible with FC NVMe storage from the top tier storage vendors, including Dell, EMC, Hitachi, HPE, Pure, NetApp, IBM, and others. So here are the key takeaways as to why customers using Fiber Channel SCSI should consider transitioning to NVMe over Fiber Channel. First, due to the efficiency of the protocol and the fact that it's optimized for NVMe device communication, FC NVMe delivers lower latency, more bandwidth, and higher IOPS than SCSI-based solutions can. Second, the transition to FC NVMe is seamless for existing fiber channel customers. FC NVMe coexists with legacy SCSI using the same SAN infrastructure allowing for concurrent NVMe and SCSI I.O. communications. And last but not least, QLogic Fiber Channel HBAs make that transition as easy as possible with a unified driver that's already in use today. No change is required to host firmware driver when adding native NVMe storage to your SAN. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found the information useful. For more information, go to www.marvell.com slash QLogic and to find out everything you need to know about Marvell and QLogic Fiber Channel HPA technology. And be sure to check out our other Follow the Wire videos on the Marvell YouTube channel. I want to thank you for your time and attention, and I hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.